<laughs> what if I told you that a few blokes from Perth have come up with a way to make you less attractive to sharks this summer? There is, however, a catch. They're one of the most feared predators on the planet, with jaws that would make even the most steadfast, no wing in the ocean type, pee in their swimming trunks. See, I told you wing your pants protected you from sharks. You weren't in the ocean. You were at the Christmas party. Did you time. see any sharks? No. But... You're welcome. So what do you do if you're a bunch of shark-obsessed diving mates from Perth? Figure out how to lure the big guys in, of course. There's so many myths going around about why sharks attack humans. And one of the most common ones is an increased heartbeat. So we really wanted to check out whether or not a shark would change its behaviour if it was in a situation where there was an increased heartbeat in the water. To test the theory, Johnny, Ryan, Andre and their skipper Ash created the world's first underwater heart simulator. We took a harvested pig's heart and we took it subsea. To do that, we had to build a stand for it and we put it inside a Perspex container. It uses pressured air to make the heart beat and we've also got an electrical circuit running through it which imitates a human heartbeat. They then lowered it to the ocean floor off the coast of WA's Abrolhos Islands, set it to a normal beating heart rate and waited. Oh, there's a massive shark. Yeah, just here. Look at that. In the space of just an hour, three big bronze whaler sharks started circling. But the boys weren't done yet, increasing the voltage to replicate a panicked heartbeat. Oh! Down at the as soon as we increased the heartbeat, there was a definite change in the shark's behaviour. They started acting a lot more aggressively towards the heart. I think we've proved the theory that sharks are attracted to a panicked heartbeat, yeah, with this experiment. So it's really quite easy if you come face to face with a great white. Just relax. And wee yourself. Uh, oh, Pete. No. <laughs> Joining us now are a couple of the crazy cats behind this experiment that you just saw in that package. Ryan Chatfield and Johnny Devon, guys, thank you very much for joining us. So what's the take-home message from this? Should we, I don't know, be meditating before we hit the waves or something? Uh, it's not a bad idea. It's um, always good to be calm. It's going to be a bit hard if you have a four-metre great white approach you, but, um, yeah, try to stay calm if a shark approaches you and always keep your eyes on them as well. Right, it looks like a really cool contraption, but is it true that you knocked up all this using parts from Bunnings? <laughs> yeah, mate, we did actually. Just strolled down there and uh, I said to the, mate, the guy, um, have you got any subsea heart simulators? And he said, yeah, aisle 36 next to the sprinklers. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, Johnny, to prove this uh, actually works, wouldn't the shark have had to take a great big bite out of your Bunnings uh, build experimental piece of equipment? Um, I think what the footage shows is the shark was definitely interested. Its body language, the way it was swimming straight at the heart, uh, gives a pretty clear indication that they're really interested. I think we just need to do more testing just to see how interested they really are. So when you did this, how did you make sure that this contraption wasn't beating too, I don't know, heavily, I guess, so that it was sending out more signal than an ordinary human heart would? Uh, so we teamed up with bioengineers from the Perkins Institute and they were able to replicate the exact heartbeat that a human gives out and we also just set it to a resting human heart when we first drop the heart down. Most normal humans are terrified of sharks, guys. Why, why do you love them so much? They're just in incredible creatures, you know, and, and there's, you never really know what you're going to get. There's still a lot of raw power and, and still a lot of mystery that surrounds sharks. So, um, you know, we just can't keep out of the water. And just finally, before we go, we should ask, how's the pig doing? <laughs> yeah, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the pig's heart. It was the leftover from the barbecue. Yeah. Gosh. Oh, really cool. The story makes a lot more sense all of a sudden. <laughs> Guys, uh, congratulations on the experiment. It'll be interesting to see how it develops from here, whether you can get more precise results in the long run. But thank you very much for joining us. Thanks so much for having us. Thanks, guys. Incredible experiment. Yeah, oh, yeah.